the music got the hairy fuck. You was sleeping on me, you was getting mad rats. If you want them, you can have them, bitch, I'm not pressed. No, I keep it on me, you ain't gotta ask that. Getting money, I ain't stopping, gotta have that. Who you loving? Who you wanna be hugging? Niggas is mad, cause his cousin went up on in my event. I'm a boss, bitch, and I ain't never fuck. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dominique. And if you can see by the title, this is my first ever vlog. But not only that, this is my move in vlog. So welcome to my channel. So y'all, I had did a whole, I did a whole thing where I recorded myself actually packing and moving my stuff into my new apartment. I just moved to different units. I got, um, you know, like my little dream layout now. I have my island in the kitchen. That's where I'm at right now. And um, over the last few days, I basically recorded myself on mute. I don't know if I'm still going to include those clips and like just do a voiceover or something. Because like I said, this is my first vlog. So I don't even know how to do all of that. This editing process is going to be interesting. Luckily, something told me to look at the clips to see how they was looking before I even continued on with this vlog because I honestly didn't do any unpacking for real so I definitely wanted to at least get that one camera for y'all because the move out clips was all over the place I'm not gonna lie these last couple days has been stressful but today is Saturday August 3rd I don't know if y'all can see that I really hope that this footage comes out good. I hope that the sound is good. I hope just that the quality is good because I have a whole camera. Like I have a Sony something. So I just feel like it should be good quality, you know? So right now, I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna give y'all a little preview and don't judge me. Like, like I said, it's been a long couple days. I'm gonna show y'all like the progress that I made and the progress that I haven't even started and I'm just gonna take y'all along on this little journey with me this is what we have so far yes I did move all of this stuff by myself I took my couch apart y'all I took it apart I wrapped it up in like the moving saran wrap type of thing and I literally slid it from my other apartment to this one luckily I was just all in the same building you know so this is my island this is what we're gonna work on first just because like this is ridiculous um and then we're gonna start busting these bags down and just clear this entryway out um I want to at least I don't know I just want to make some progress let's get started I do have an Amazon package coming today like I don't know when because neither one of them are out for delivery. They're supposed to be coming between 5 and 10 o'clock. And it's 5 o'clock right now. And one is shipped. One isn't shipped. Neither one are out for delivery. So I don't know about that. Yeah, so I'm back from straightening up a little bit. Um, show y'all what I'm working with right now. This is the island right here. I got most of everything out the way um everything that's right here i feel like will go in my like media console over there like you know just like miscellaneous stuff um i cleared off most of this um these are just like my towels to like wipe the counter um and then this bag right here is my bag of seasonings um because if you follow me on instagram you know like i have a seasoning drawer but a lot of my seasonings are empty, so I wanted to, like, refill them and everything, uh, like, with the funnel on camera with y'all. I kind of have a headache right now, y'all. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do the seasonings with y'all tonight. Um, I'm thinking about, like, actually getting in the bed. Because <laughs> I'm feeling so crazy. Um, I knocked out most of the bags. Um, the only thing that I have to unpack now is the bathroom. I'll probably do that with y'all on camera too. Um, but not today because I do have some like acrylic shelves that I want to put up in the bathroom. 
and you know like just some you know bathroom stuff that i want to get from like maybe the 99 cent store or target marshall's oh, speaking of marshall's before i get off of here i really have a headache y'all but i'm really trying to stay consistent with this whole vlogging thing like because i'm really trying to you know take vlogging serious so i had got these um my melody face masks um these ones is like green green tea and tea tree um and it comes with a pack of three i got these for 4.99 um and then i got my pimple patches i get um the creme shop hello kitty ones i don't get pimples too often but when i do yeah and these are a pack of 63 so they're gonna probably last me for like two years <laughs> not even gonna lie but, um these lip masks which i really need right now because i don't know what's going on with me but i've been having such dry lips lately and it's causing like my lips to be discolored uh last but not least <gasps> i got this hello kitty sheet set let's head back in with y'all maybe later or tomorrow um i'm still waiting for my amazon packages and it's thunderstorming so maybe that's why it's like so delayed but we'll see but yeah y'all i'll tap back in with y'all later what's up y'all it's the next day i ended up just calling it a night um yesterday and i went to bed early i ate my raisin kings and i just called it a night i wasn't feeling too well i have to go to work in about an hour and a half um it's 5:08 right now 5:09. and if i didn't say this yesterday make sure to like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification um to see my videos every time i drop because you want to want to stay tapped in so let me show y'all um this setup um so this is what i have literally just my couch my tv and then right here is um like all my little stuffies in my ps5 so the next thing that i'm going to be purchasing is my media tv stands um because that's gonna be a major major part of my storage um because you know if you know you know in new york city we don't have a lot of space i only have one other closet besides my bedroom closet and neither one of those closets are like huge or anything so you know just a little storage space to put shoes knickknacks um, miscellaneous BS that you don't just want, you know, laying around out in the open. That's what I'm going to have my media stand for. Um, and I'm also going to get uh, an entryway shoe cabinet instead of an entryway table. I'm going to be getting a cabinet. I decided on that last night. And they're very inexpensive. And they hold a lot of shoes. About like 24, 30 shoes. So I'm really excited about getting that and decorating. Um, but yeah. Um... So right now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait until this package comes and hopefully it comes in enough time for me to like come back and unbox it with y'all. If not, when I come back from work or tomorrow, I'll pick up the camera and tap in with y'all because we still have to do the seasonings and we still have to unpack the bathroom. So I did not do anything. I wanted to wait to do it with y'all. So Whenever we make some progress. Copyright me. All right, y'all. So today is August 8th. We are at my 30th birthday shoot. We just got here. We're about to set up. So I'm about to show y'all the space real quick. Come. So we got a whole pink crib. It's a lot of space, a lot of opportunity to get some good pictures. So I'm really excited. I hope that the outfits are good. Um, you know, we 
here we have the little kitchen area. This is super, super cute. Wow, I didn't even see her. It was a whole nother area right here. <laughs> what the hell? This is so big. So I didn't even see this yard. So we both seeing this at the at the same time. This is so cute. Wow. Okay. Okay, but this room is like, you know, it's my vibe. Super kawaii with the teddy bears and stuff, you know. I love me a big teddy bear. So we're definitely going to do some uh, shots with this. So, yeah, y'all. I'm going to tap back in with y'all when we start shooting. Give y'all some behind the scenes. It'll be a shoot. My birthday is in seven days. Ah! Big 30. You already know what it is. You broke the, the damn tripod. You don't know how to use it. I put... You see, I want to do that. Uh, you good? Yeah. I know your name's probably her. Man. No. Man. Oh. It's just you want to fix that in? Just a little bit. Up top. On the side. On the other side. Yeah. Just right there. Oh, the heart shaped ice cubes. That's so cute. Oh, oh can I do a, um, I can do a picture with that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Love that. Stay right there. Don't move. Boom. One, two. Got it. Love that, yup. Start with some again. There we go. One, two. Okay, we gotta switch that. Let's get one ear. Yeah. I wanna see one ear. Yeah. Yup, yeah. no, no. You gotta get your feet, yup. I was about to say that. Yeah, if you can. Don't make it look like you're struggling, though. She got it, she got it, she got it. Jump a little higher. There we go. There, yeah, there we go. Fill it. There we go. Hold it right there. One, two. I'll close this. That's cute. Yep. Yeah, right there. Perfect. One more. One, two. One, two. There we go. One, two. Should she have like the cake, holding the cake and licking the cake or something? Let's get it. Like, Yes, you know what the fuck going on, man? We putting shit, man. We got like five more minutes left, and I'm talking shit, wasting time, but we here. <laughs> Number two, we in like what is this like pose number uh, three or whatever? But right now we getting the ice cream. I just wanna get some on the floor too. We got the ice cream on the floor. If you guys was wondering, I am in the fridge. I am in the fridge, but <laughs> trust the process. Yeah. 
So, I hope the footage that I got, um, I hope y'all could see everything. I didn't get a chance to get a whole bunch of footage, but, um, I got what I could. I like, the behind the scenes that I could get. But either or, like, like I said, the, the pictures are probably going to be out. They are going to be out before this vlog drops, so, you know, whatever. If y'all want to see the pictures, definitely head over to my instagram at don monique d-o-n-m-o-n-i-q-u-e um now i'm trying to figure out what i want to do um it's currently 403 um i'm trying to see if i want to go to work or not i just feel like my face is be my hair is done you know why not go and be seen and also like make some money um but also like i don't want to sweat out my wig making the money like i kind of want to like keep this look up i just feel like i look so cute yeah y'all um also let me show y'all my dresser came today so i might get into that so either we're going to be putting together this dresser for the rest of the day because i know it's going to take me a couple hours or we're going to just go to work because we're already dressed hair done makeup done like you know might as well but let me update y'all on the bed so i put the bed together a couple days ago i don't know if i showed y'all i definitely didn't vlog that i really wanted to but it was just too much going on um but i got the bed together my mattress also came today um i got a memory foam uh mattress is eight inches i wish i would have got like maybe something like 12 inches because it looks pretty low but still cute you know that's on the that's on my list of to do things i'll keep y'all posted and let y'all know what i end up doing and if i do end up staying home and just putting together the dresser um i'm a vlogger for y'all i promise and just you know Show that yeah, blah, 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 show y'all the process. So, yeah, let me pause like, this real quick. Like... Um, it's a couple hours later. I don't know if I told y'all earlier, but I did get my dress set in the mail. Excuse the mess. So right now I'm just gonna try to hook it up. I got my instructions over here. I'm doing it in the living room because um I guess this is the back of the dresser, and then after I hook it up, I gotta flip it over. So wish me luck, y'all. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna watch some. Um, Carisha, please, while I do this, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I showed y'all the room, but um, it's not going to be that much space in between where the dress is going to be, which is right under the TV, and my bed. It's going to be very tight, but let's see how it comes out. All right, y'all, so that was in a really long and annoying process, but we made it. Um, I'm still not done. I still have a couple more things to do i'm trying to figure out like where is the middle in this room um but yeah this is how it looks i still have to put the knobs on it um so i might do that with y'all on camera i like honestly i couldn't film me putting this together because it was so irritating all right i know the lighting probably sucks try to adjust a little bit I don't know I don't know how the how good the lighting is right now I feel like I look like shit I've had such a long day like 
I really feel like I look like shit. Oh my god. I have such a long day. If I would have known that doing this would have caused such a mess like this, I probably would have waited until the morning. Not gonna hold you. I'm just gonna put these clothes in here. I mean, not put these clothes in here. I'm just gonna put these knobs on these drawers and make my bed because I still didn't put my sheets on. I had to wash them because like I showed you the other day, I had got new um, queen size sheets. So we're gonna put that together. There's just so many pieces of just cardboard and like foam. Like I'm so irritated. It's so annoying. Alright, so let's get these knobs and get this done. So, these knobs are literally so fucking ugly. I'm definitely going to be getting like some cute pink heart shaped ones on Amazon or something. Because, what is this? It's giving like storage cabinet it will do for now so let's let's do this i'm gonna try not to make them so tight so i can take them off in the future like so many tools like i'm so tired of putting shit together like and i know i'm nowhere near done with putting furniture together because I still got to get my bar stools and I'm getting three bar stools so hopefully that's not like a difficult process I'm getting um yeah I'm just getting my bar stools it's so itchy oh my gosh I'm getting my bar stools and I have to get my media stand and I know it's going to be some pieces I'm going to have to put together and shit. So, yeah, not excited for that. Like, after this, I'm extremely burnt out. This in this bed, it was a lot of fucking work. But I will say that the bed was easier for me. Definitely will say that. First draw down is two um, knobs on each one, so that's gonna be super cute when I get some like heart shaped knobs or something. Or just that all about. One, two. Okay. All right, I'm gonna come back when I'm done with all of this. What's up, y'all? I don't even know when the last time we spoke. I believe it was the night when I was putting together the dresser. Um, so today is Tuesday, August 13th. It is 6.43. Um, and y'all, it's been a very hectic last couple of days. I was just working a lot. Um... And, um, you know, just getting ready for my birthday. My birthday is in two days. I can't wait. I'm thinking about going to the Future concert. If you know, you know, uh, Future is coming to Barclays on the 15th. And then just getting a little bite to eat. Like, probably going to Claw Daddy's or something uh, before the show. Um, because it's right down the block. Today, um, I'm just doing a little reset. I want to cook uh, for the next couple of days. So today I'm going to be making some steak sandwiches or like steak rolls. Um, so I'm going to show y'all how I do that. Um, I got my um, hot dog buns and I got the ones that's like split down the middle. And um, we're going to toast those. I usually get the brochet, but they didn't have that. So, you know, and then I have my steak. I got um, 
some New York strips, and I got some french fries. So that's what we're going to eat today. And y'all don't come for me because I don't got no vegetables. I usually make some vegetables, but um, I don't know. I just don't feel like steak rolls is the meal to eat vegetables with. It's more of like a burger and fries type of thing, you know. Now I'm just going to chill out for a minute. Um, I am. I just got back home, actually. I just went grocery shopping, and um, I went to the bank. Now I'm going to just chill out for a little bit and just see um what bar stools i want to order because i've been uh putting this off for the longest i'm dying to sit at my island y'all i'm dying to sit at my island and just eat and roll up you know just just chill um and if you know me you know i'm such an island girl like whenever there's an island when i go to someone's house or like to the studio like i always park up at the island so um, I'm deciding right now. So these are the bar stools that I'm going to get. This style. Um, if you know, you know this style is all over like TikTok and stuff like that. They have these on Wayfair and on Amazon. So right now I'm just trying to decide between the height situation. Um, because they have 24 inch um, seat height and then they have the 27 inch seat height. I was going to go with the 27 but um i just feel like it'll just be too high up so i'm thinking about going with the 24 um and the other discrepancy i'm having is whether i should go with three bar stools or two so i'm just gonna do a little bit of measurements with my um with my tape measure <laughs> and um i'm gonna get this ordered like within the next few hours because I definitely want to get these ASAP and I know it's going to take a while to get here. I know I'm not going to get it before my birthday. Um, but yeah, I'll come back to y'all when um get. Oh, what the hell? I'll come back to y'all when I'm getting my whole food and everything situated. And I'm going to just show y'all how I make these um these steak rolls. I'll be back. I'm feeling a little better from my little episode. Um, I did my hair and I used um, a really, really tiny wand curl, curler and uh, did that. And I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna bring in my birthday, making some money. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, what else? I don't know. I just wanted to get on here and show y'all the look. Um, yeah, I'm just wearing a little tube dress. And I'm about to head out. I think I'm going to wear my uh, fur boots. These ones right here. And, um, yeah. I wish the sun was, was showing again. When the sun was hitting, the look was really looking, but... Yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys later. All right, y'all. We're in the car and we're on the way to Woo! see future. So I did my hair. I have on my little dress. I'll show y'all the full look when we get to where we gotta be. We going to Brooklyn right now. Right now we on like 86th Street or something like that. So we'll be there soon. ETA is like 6:30, and right now it's six o'clock. So we're on good time. Show I think starts at 8 or at least the gates open at 8 I don't know I don't know if there's like any open at X or whatever 
So we're just trying to get there by at least 8.30, the latest. So we don't miss a lot of the show. So anyway, we're not going straight to the concert because I told you it starts at 8 and right now it's 6. So we're going to go get some food from Claw Daddy's down the block. And yeah, because you know, if you know, you know Claw Daddy's have the food happy hour. So we're going to go take advantage of that so we can have a full belly and sneak some drinks at the concert. So I'm going to holler at y'all. Say hello. hello. My name is Kyson. Mommy is Auntie. Yeah. Right, y'all. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get to check in with y'all. Um, uh, uh, you gotta put up. Put your seat up. Hold on, Kyson. So anyway, I didn't get to check in with y'all when we when I came back home from the from the concert or whatever because I left my uh, camera Kyson, and it. my sister's car but now i'm back in the car with her we on our way to city island the show is late he brought out everybody that was like live from new york we on our way to city island right now gonna get some seafood you know just chill probably get a little pina colada or something right i'll get a honey one okay talk that talk <laughs> say what's up to the Hey. PM. This is my first vlog. Y'all, I know this vlog is all over the place. Look, look at him. I know this vlog is all look over the place, man. but I hope y'all y'all still here with me. Um, I don't even know what day of the vlog this is. This is just gonna be like a month-long birthday vlog. But, yeah. See y'all. At City Island. Okay, hey y'all. So, on our way back well i'm on my way back home from city island i'm so full cassie give it a rate one out of ten what the whole yeah rate it out of ten ten thousand all right you kind of gassing it like you went to sammy's or something um, Kaisen, um, what do you rate? What do you rate the city island? Do you rate it? Uh, did you like the food, Kaisen? I do know. Okay. What do you rate it out of ten? I rate it a ten. Oh, it's pretty good. I don't like seafood like that, but it is what it is. You like it. Okay. It's your birthday. Okay. So 10 out of 10 for Mommy, everybody, I guess. Uh, for me. You said 10. Yeah. I stick to that. Give it a real. Give it for real. Okay, I rated a 10. My shrimp, yeah. I don't eat seafood, but what I had was a 10. Okay. 
So 10 out of 10 for City Island. Why do you keep taking off your socks? Um, when I get back home, I'm going to show y'all all the stuff I brought today because I went shopping and just got a little like random stuff for the house from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So we're going to do a little mini haul. guys so I'm back home I feel like I'm always in the same the same spot but please bear with me guys bear with me um I literally just got in and I decided to just hop on the camera for y'all right now because I forgot to vlog so much I even forgot to vlog when I just now when I went to see with my family and I definitely should have got some footage because, you know, I have to stop thinking about, like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't have to record everything. But it's not about recording everything to post, you know? Sometimes you have to record things to just have the memory, you know? So, I'm going to show y'all everything that I got from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And I also went to Sephora, so I got these big old bags. So I got these So De Janeiro sprays. Um, I got the big ones this time. I love 40 and I love uh, 60, 62. Those are my favorite. But if you know, you know, 59 just dropped not too long ago. So I went to go try her out, and I love it, I think. Because, I don't know, y'all, for some reason, uh, when I spray sprays in the store, with specifically Sephora, I don't smell it right away. Everything just smells like alcohol when I try to, like, actually smell things from Sephora. Sephora, for me, is more of a spot where I have to, like, go in there knowing what I'm about to buy, not go in there trying to try stuff out but uh well, my birthday just passed so i had to get my little sephora gift so i picked out the gucci perfume set so let's test her out let's see i didn't open it yet so spray right now because I just sprayed the Sol de Janeiro but this is how it came y'all oh so cute so so it's literally a mini what I got for my birthday from Sephora yes love that I got this little mushroom so basically this is something that takes batteries but for some reason the back is not on it so whatever uh I got this cute little mushroom uh in the color amber and it has white warm white lights and it's like a little mini thing battery powered I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. I'm thinking maybe on my media stand when I get it or like on my dresser in my room. And if I sound stuffy, y'all, it's because I'm stuffy as hell. Oh. Uh, oh, I got this candle. This is pumpkin spice. Oh, this is so, so, so good. It's so strong. So someone told me that, or I maybe mean, I heard or I read about it, that Bath & Body Works candles are like toxic for you. Because every time I would get a candle from Bath & Body Works, a like Yankee candle, and I would keep it on for an X amount of time, it would like choke me out. Like literally make me feel very sick. So I got this candle. It says infused with essential oils. Uh, vegan soy wax blend so we'll see how this candle agrees with me 
What else? Oh, okay. So I got this. I got this, uh, you know, little toothbrush holder or whatever to put my toothbrush and my toothpaste um, on the, a little acrylic stand that I had put up and showed y'all the other day. So hopefully this fits on that acrylic stand because I really need a placeholder for my toothbrush and toothpaste. Like, it's so bad. So this is my favorite. I actually went back to Marshall's Tech to get this. And they only had, I think, two or three left. And I ended up just getting one. So we'll see how this holds up, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, I am definitely getting another one. What the hell? Are you fucking serious? So I got these little slippers because I really, really need some slippers because the ones that I have now are so dirty and they like defeat the purpose of even having slippers. So last thing I got is this little uh, bubble dog. So cute. The bubble dog was $9.99. Okay, it gives like backyard vibes. It's not really as nice as the other one. This is more like nightlight vibes. But you know. Moving on to TJ Maxx. So I got some washcloths, y'all. And then after the fact, I realized that I don't think I'm going to really like these washcloths because they're not like the rough ones that like scrub your body, you know. But whatever, I got these white ones and I got a pack of pink ones. They're like really soft, but you know, we move. I got these small uh, glass canisters so you know, put store things. So I'm probably going to put like my sugar brown sugar and like my powdered sugar in these some really large ones i got the really large ones where i'll probably put like my noodles i have one minute left y'all ah so i might put my noodles in these and then i got the medium ones which i'll probably put like uh my flour and uh my my cornmeal and, and stuff like that so i got one more candle y'all one more candle from tj maxx and we're done with this haul i got this golden pumpkin candle and this one is also vegan made with essential oils and it smells so good it kind of smells similar to the other one <laughs> oh my god but yeah, that's everything that I got from the store today. I'm going to just put everything away, charge up my camera, and like clear out some of this storage because it's about to be done for. I've been recording so much. So we'll see y'all guys in a
got racks, you can get it done. Yeah. On a light day, I keep me a hundred bucks. Yeah. We can hit that thing, he call me very fun. For the Christmas, I bought everybody. Lost and covers and infants for everyone. Take the roof out the car, let up for the sun. I'm about to see it, about 5,000 months. Got this bitch off the collar, she suck it and swallow. I stick it and she feel it in a gut. Nigga don't rock on my collar, we suck it up, swallow and swallow. I'm trying to get it, make a buck. See them drippin' the nigga, best watch your stuff. This top shelf, got 40 designer belts. Go see y'all, just look at the new BMO. Think I'm done, got clothes in my right alone. Talk of the kind, no key enough. It's close to they pocket, get out of there. I'm gonna have a hard time finding what the world. Treat it all like a guy, I keep a spell. I'm gonna stop because I'm worried. Check the tracks, I'm kind of more fake. Yo, Scott, it's low, it's new, we ain't a prison. I'm kind of sticky, trying to get you in the world. But the gamut to this temple, the colors, the flavor to this temple. Yo, I am not a killer, but I'm telling you, I'm spending rape. I'm down to two of them. Riding with my twin and them, and we all look good for. She said she my eye, but I don't know her. Had to look her up, cause I know that I'm real. For ya. So this is the progress I made. My camera had died the other night. But this is how it looks. I still have to get the labels. And I have to get a couple more of these. I think I want to get some bigger ones because these are actually not that big. This didn't even hold a full box of um, pasta. Um, so yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to get some bigger ones and then like use these for something else. And then over here, I have my flour and cornmeal and I can go up in size on that as well but yeah everything else pretty much looks a mess I've been watching like a lot of TikTok organization videos um and I think I'm gonna put my plates and stuff right here my plates and my cups it's just it's very hard to reach y'all like I don't know if y'all can tell but this is very high up I can get up here but up here, I'm definitely going to need my stool. And, um, because over here is where I'm, like, keeping my plates and stuff. But it just doesn't seem like a good area to store things, you know? Because it's way off to the side. It's, like, right over my island. And, yeah, I don't know. So, I'm thinking I might just put, like, stuff like this. My pancake mix and everything in here. And then I also have some stuff over in this cabinet as well so these are just like kind of harder to reach than over here i guess i don't know it's kind of like a weird setup but um i'm gonna figure this out i also got another little cabinet situation over here so yeah i don't know this one doesn't really have shelves it's just like more of like an open thing so i don't know this is kind of giving pantry um i have a little spot under my microwave my microwave is down here and this little spot here i have like my paper pieces and like all my snacks and stuff so i don't know this is kind of giving pantry up here so i don't know i really have to figure this organization out but um today is august 18th today's my man's birthday so happy birthday to my man free my man He'll be home real, real soon. But, uh, today, I have to go to work tonight. Um, but I do want to go to the Dollar Tree real quick and just pick up some things for the house. I really don't need that much cleaning stuff. I honestly, most likely, won't come back with anything because the Dollar Tree by me is always cleaned out. And I don't know what days they restock, so, you know, it's kind of like catch them when I catch it type of thing. But if they do have what I need, I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to get some fabric softener. I want to get a bottle of bleach, uh, and maybe some sponges and stuff. Um, other than that, that's it. And then I just want to go to like the deli real quick and just give me some snacks and something to drink because i have nothing in my fridge y'all i don't think I, i've showed y'all my fridge yet but it's because there's nothing to see so i'm just gonna get my day started i do want to make some coffee too so i'm gonna just do that when i get back and uh yeah maybe we'll like knock out something in the kitchen today maybe the seasonings 
because they they're sitting up here on the counter and honestly i'm tired of looking at them it's time to get these in the drawer clean them off and everything so yeah when i get them back we'll probably do the season so so i'm back in the house That was just very, very stressful, y'all. I got these two big bags. And I forgot my shopping bag. So I was basically carrying these all the way down the block. It's freaking hot outside. So let me show y'all what I got. Move y'all back. So I got um, some straws. Because I don't know what happened to my straws when I moved. I must have left them like in the cabinet in my old apartment. I got some uh, scrub free bathroom cleaner. Figured this would come in handy when I clean my bathroom. I love this stuff from um, from Dollar Tree. This is the brand Extra Care. It's feminine deodorant spray. It's hypoallergenic and it uh, comes with natural cornstarch. So I love that. I use it for work. Then I got a whole bunch of these. This is the Arizona iced tea. If you know, you know. I don't know if this is like a New York thing or if everyone around the world drinks them. But um, it was definitely a New York thing out here. Um, so moving on, I got some Dermacil. I love the Dermacil brand. They always have it at um, Dollar Tree. So I got some exfoliating facial scrub. This is with uh, vitamin C and the, I'm not even gonna embarrass myself, but get it to focus, focus. Oh my gosh. So yeah, guys, this is, um, that's that. And then I got a Dermacil Galilic um acid toning solution um it's with witch hazel and rose water so that's what it's looking like i can't wait to use these i have um a couple different uh facial cleansers of them so so i got some regular colgate two two paste i got this beauty blender from the from the brand uh be pure Oh my god, hold on y'all. Hold on. Okay. Back to the haul. Back to this little mini haul. Trying to show y'all what I got. So I got this Sue. Sue New York. That's the brand. Um This is a peel-off mask, diamond peel-off mask. So we'll see how that goes. I don't really know. I just picked it up. And then I got this Global Beauty Care Glowing Exfoliating Toner. So, yeah, yeah, that's what we got in that bag. I have another bag of stuff. Is it worth showing you? I just got like some Gatorade, um, some more of these, Arizona's. And um, I got this uh, fabric refreshener. I'm going to be using this on my couch, on my uh, bar stools, and on um, my bed frame. Because, you know, I got a whole bunch of fabric furniture going on. And I got um, a bottle of bleach because I want to take off my couch cover soon and give them, like, a good bleach and wash. And, like, I want to you know clean the pieces that I can't take off so I'm gonna be using this for that I don't know when I'm gonna do that though um so yeah I'm about to put this stuff in the fridge put this stuff in the bathroom I ordered a bathroom organizer y'all from Amazon and it's like five stops away um so hopefully it comes like before I have to leave the house which is around six o'clock so I can you know set it up and everything but I'm really excited about that. I'm finally getting the bathroom together. The bathroom organizer is here. It's called, um, it says bathroom floor cabinet. So let's see what it's given. 
I think it already comes assembled. So that's a plus. Honestly, it looks pretty short, so I don't know. I'm thinking I should have got the 4 tier instead of the 3 tier. They had three different types. They had um two, two tier, three tier, four tier. So I got the three tier. So let's see what this is giving. Let's see, let's push out that. Oh my god, I have to do these freaking seasonings. They're so annoying on the counter. Okay. Okay, just to see, I can see. Okay. good it's just this part right here that's like broken or something like i really like how it looks i'm gonna have to take it back or anything but what the hell like why is it like that oh okay i fixed it all right so I don't know if you can see. This is how it's looking. It gives like sophisticated like plastic cabinet. It's really nice quality. I'm not gonna yay. So let's bring this in the bathroom. And fill it up. Open it right here. I feel like this is the first thing I'm like actually doing with y'all on the camera for real, for real. So in this drawer, it came with it came with four. Um, I guess these are wheels. Let's see. It just looks like a pop-in situation, I guess. Am I bugging? that I feel like I'm going to cut this big drawer right here. This big drawer could probably fit like stand up stuff like this. I think it'll be good for that. Like my bathroom stuff. I don't know. Or I can just use it. I feel like this, this one would be too big for like my hair curlers and stuff. This one is perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair curlers and stuff in this one in the middle. That's gonna eat right here. I feel like the the hair tools that I don't use that often, I'm not gonna keep in here. So like this straightener, dub. I've had this straightener since like 12, 12, 12, since like 2016. So I definitely don't use that one as much anymore because I just got this one, and I, I think it's in my Amazon storefront. This is the Remington um, Shine Therapy one. It goes up to like 450 degrees. It's so much better than the, the Chi that I have. So yeah, these are all like my hair tools right here. For the most part. But see. So everything just fits perfectly in there. Like literally perfectly in there. My blow dryer, I don't know. This will probably go like under the sink. And 
then I have things like this. My um, I don't know what these are called, but you know the things that you put on your wrist when you wash your face. Uh, I'll probably throw these in here. Um, there's more. It just like scattered all over the place. Um, and then maybe like put the pad, my pads and stuff in here, or maybe. I don't know. Where should I put this? Or maybe I should just keep these. So this is where they were originally. I have them like in this little uh thing I got <coughs> whoa. I got from Dollar Tree. So I just had these here like under the sink. So I might just keep these in here like that. And then as for like my face wash and stuff. Um I think it might just go down here, honestly. Cause like what else would go down here? Yeah, so let's just see how that looks. So I'm gonna put my uh the scrub free shower cleaner that I got. I'm gonna go down in here. Let's see what else. My bathroom cleaner. This is um some shower, daily shower cleaner. More bathroom cleaner. Just got some Ajax. See if it can fit. Yeah, and some toilet cleaner. More Ajax. So this one doesn't come off. So for right here, it said that like toilet paper is supposed to go right here. So I don't know if I'm gonna really use that as toilet paper. Okay. So this is what it's giving y'all. This is how it looks. So I know I told you I don't know what I'm gonna put here, but I think I'm gonna just put like the extra little toilet paper in there. Very cute. So actually this can like lay here and you could have the toilet paper come out through this little hole. But I don't know if I wanna do that. So I'm gonna link this in my Amazon storefront for anybody that you know is interested in buying this. I think this was like a little over a hundred dollars, but it's so worth it and it gives it it gives it gives the bathroom a you know sophisticated feel even though it's still storage, you know it doesn't give storage cabinet and I love that. So if you want this, Amazon storefront. So yeah guys, I really hope that you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. I really hope that like the progress that I'm making with this apartment is like actually translating through this vlog, through this video. Um, the next thing that I plan on getting for the apartment is um, the vanity for my room. I feel like the vanity is going to be a major... If you guys hear like a lot of noise in the background, it's because they're like vacuuming in my hallway. I feel like that's like just a major key to my organization. So like for my hair, my hair stuff, my makeup, um, I'm going to be having it at the vanity. I won't be doing my hair and stuff in the bathroom anymore. Um, just because it's a lot on my feet, y'all. Like standing up and like doing a wig from scratch then having to do your makeup on top of that like standing for two hours two and a half hours it's a lot you know like it makes you not even want to go outside anymore once you're done getting ready you know to go outside like the bed so obviously it's a little bit more space on this side because of the closet and then i still got like a little nook right there maybe to put like a, a mini nightstand or something you know just for your drinks blah 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 so right here i measured this out it's about like 20 something inches and i found the perfect vanity to go here um and then i have this little piece of wall right here so i don't have to be like be worried about being in the way of the closet door or anything like that and like the chair to the vanity goes under the desk so it will be going right here and I'm going to remeasure too 
But yeah, this is how the room is looking, y'all. It's very tight, but this is what we're working with. I love the water view. Y'all yeah, just showing trying to show y'all all of the progress and trying to like pick up my camera as much as possible. Like I feel like throughout the years I've definitely like learned to not record everything and not take pictures of myself and like not capture the moment and it's like why especially now when at this time people are doing that more than ever so it's like it's literally no reason to feel no type of way or feel corny or cringy or embarrassed but it's like for some reason i do like but back in the day like when no one was recording themselves I love to do it like I didn't care what no one think I was just gonna do me and I was gonna record myself and that was that you know but um it's like really really noisy I can't even hear myself talk right now so I'm gonna get off here I'm gonna stop ranting and just like relax for a little bit and I'm gonna probably see y'all tomorrow I ended up not going anywhere today. I mean, I did go somewhere today, but tonight I ended up not going to work. I actually got ready, did my hair, my makeup and everything, and I got caught in the thunderstorm that's going on right now. And it was so bad to the point that I was soaking wet and so is my work bag with all my clothes and stuff. So I'm not gonna lie. I turned around and I went back home. I was just over it, you know, like. Okay, so the seasonings are right here. And then I'm gonna get my big seasonings. Which is these. And I keep them in these little like baskets. Bear with me, y'all. So. We're gonna do we wanna refill them and then I'm gonna bring y'all over to the drawer and we're gonna fill up the drawer. So this is a little overview of the seasoning drawer. So the top row we have the basics, um, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne and paprika. And then this row is like the remix peppers and salt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like we have the garlic salt, Himalayan salt, lemon pepper, Cajun, and then two adobos. One has pepper and one doesn't. And then here we have like the greens and like the natural type of seasonings, um, Italian, parsley, thyme, oregano, turmeric, and cumin. And then the last row is like the stuff that I don't really use as much. Um, chicken seasoning. This is um, tahine, um, obey, crushed red pepper, chili powder, and cinnamon sugar. I use this a lot for my lattes. So yeah, y'all. This is the drawer. It took me a minute to get it together, but we're here. Yeah, I got the vanity. I unpacked it out the box. This is how it's looking. This is the mirror. I believe this is um, the stuff for the chair. 
And yeah, we're gonna get started. It's literally so many pieces. Like, god damn, they could have they could have put together a little something. Like, I gotta literally put together every little piece. Like, it's so many pieces here. It doesn't look like it, but this shit goes deep. So we're gonna get started on this. I'm about to pop y'all up. This is six too. camera died but I'm almost done this is how it's looking this is so freaking schmicking cute so I got a couple more steps left and then I gotta head out I have my last appointment at 145 is 105 so I'm just gonna finish this up really quick um and then I'm done y'all Okay, so my camera might die again, so I'm going to just try to do this really, really quick. the vanity in the room it's pulled out a little bit just so you know I can see I mean I can um plug this in see if the light was working good so now I'm trying to figure out placement so this is the place where I have it at right now um like right by the window And that's the other potential place. So I'm going to try over there and see how I like it. Uh, excuse this. I have my waist trainer on right now because my back is hurting me so bad. And I feel like my posture has been horrible while trying to build this. And now like my body is reacting. But anyway, I moved the vanity over here. I feel like it's just a better area and like I don't know how I feel about doing makeup right by the bed and like the bed's white it's kind of dangerous um 
So yeah, I'm going to stick with it over here. I love how it's very small. This is about like 24 inches wide. Very compact. But there's a lot of storage going on here. And then it's a lot of space up here. It goes all the way down in here. Then you have another little shelf right here. And then these two, you know, like for decor. And then what I also love is that it came with a little stool. And the stool has even more room for storage. So I paid less than $200 for this vanity, y'all. And it seems like it's very good quality. This is like a wood, a white wood type of vibe. I don't know if y'all can see. You was sleeping on me, you was getting mad rats. If you want them, you can have them, but you're not pressed. No, I keep it on me, you ain't gotta ask that. Getting money, I ain't stopping, gotta have that. Who you loving? Who you wanna be hugging? Niggas is mad, cause his cousin went up on in my oven. I'm a boss, but you I ain't never.